Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to a new type of flow control inside of Blueprints and the node that we're going to be using is the flip-flop node. Now the flip-flop node has a really simple yet effective purpose inside of Unreal Engine. So essentially what this node is going to do is essentially alternate or switch between two pieces of code. Now, you would use this if you are creating something like a light switch. So for example, you have a piece of code that goes into here, and then each time that it goes in, it's going to do a different action, alternating between A and then to B. So A, for example, if it's a light switch, would be turning the light on, B would be turning the light off. And the reason why you might want to use this is because then you don't have to run a check to see whether or not it's off or on already. All you're simply doing is just alternating between the two and you know it is going to work. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how you can set up a simple sort of light switch within your character that you can use with this flip-flop node. Now, what I've done is actually deleted all of the code that I had already for the rest of the stuff is we don't need this anymore. Now, if we go to our viewport, if you haven't already, just add a flashlight into your scene. Now, not a flashlight, a point light rather. Now, with this light, I'm just gonna have it below the player's feet right here so I can see it. Now, with this, if I go to my event graph, I'm gonna put an input on here. Now, the way I'm gonna add that input is to simply go to input, and then I'm going to add a keyboard event and just look for the F key as if we are trying to make a flashlight. And when we press this, it's going to go into the input for the flip flop. And then from here, we need to write our two different p uh, bits of code that it's going to alternate between. Now for us, that is simply going to be changing the visibility of that point light. So let me show you how we can do that. So I'm going to click my point light up in the components panel in the top left, and I'm just going to get that, just get a reference to it, and then from there, I'm going to set visibility um, to true when you turn it on, and then afterwards, I'm going to tell it to turn it off. And I'm just going to compile that and what this should do is work. Now make sure your target is hooked up to your point light for both of those. But other than that, you should be good to go. What I'm also going to do is just make sure my visibility on this point light by default is set to off. And then I'm going to hit compile and we can check to see whether or not our flip flop is working. If I press F, it turns the light on. If I press F again, it turns it off. And I can keep on toggling between that just like that. It's really that simple. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you for the flip-flop node. There is loads of other uses that you can do with it, but this is the most simple and straightforward way that I can find to teach you guys this. We've got loads more on the way, but once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.